What is going on, beautiful people? And today, we're going to talk about copyright and the update for Dreams. Dreams currently has an update and they pushed the uh, max um, captivity level to 200. So, thermometer level should be able to go past 100 and to 200 now. So, that's a good thing as far as that update. There was some minor bug fish, um, fixes. <laughs> um, they didn't specify which ones it was. So, unfortunately, I can't put up a photo of that because I do everything via my PlayStation. But there's one specific thing I wanted to talk about. And it is exactly, exactly, people, listen. It is exactly what I said in my video as far as copyright. Now, going to the Dream website, if you go to moderation, right? They have something that's called moderation in Dreams. So if you go to that page and you scroll all the way down, we have a section called copyright violations. And I'm going to read it to you. And I'm going to give you my opinion like I have before. Now, bear with me and listen. We get lots of questions about copyright. Creative Commons public domain and fair use it's a complimented topic often the laws are different depending on where you live the safety's approach the, the safest approach is to not make things inside of dreams that you know were created by someone else yes this includes pretty much every game, character, song, etc. that you know. Copyrighted content belongs to the original author who has the right to request that PlayStation take anything that replicates their content in Dreams if they wish. If we receive such a report, the infiguring content will be removed from the dream universe and you will lose all the time and effort you put into making that content. If you are a copyright holder and want to report a violation, you can go you can do that at copyright copyright dot in dreams dot me now with that being said people remember what I said in my last video if you watch my last video about copyrights there's nothing wrong with creating something that someone else has already created but if you're seeking to do anything beyond just being creative and trying to replica that work as far as test your skills it's not gonna work for you it's not gonna work in your favor and right here it clearly says let's go back to this line because I want to break this line down for y'all copyright copyrighted content belongs to the original author who has the right to request that PlayStation take down anything that replicates their content in dreams if they wish. If we receive such a report, the infiguring content will be removed from dreams universe. So that means everybody that's making stuff in dreams whether you're just creating it, like let's let's say I'm the creator of Mortal Kombat, right? And I see you created Scorpion in Dreams. 
if I wanted to, I can report to Dreams, somebody made my character in Dreams, such and such person did it, um, so this is the name of the, of, of, of the, of the dream, right, itself, this is the name of the person who created it, I would like for you to take that off of Dreams Universe, I know that person created it. He probably did it at a um, admiring my work, but I don't like the fact that my Mortal Kombat character is in your dreams game. So I want you to, um, I want you to to basically tarnish it and get rid of it because I don't want it a part of dreams. They can do that, even if you're just making it, being creative. Like you're, you may not even try to make. A replica Mortal Kombat game or a mini Mortal Kombat game in dreams you might just want to make the character out of your share creation out of your 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 desire to want to create it but if the creators of Mortal Kombat sees it and just feel like they don't want it a part of dreams universe whether you made it being a fan or not they don't want it a part of that because they don't want people to think that it comes from that or they don't want to feel like dreams is using um their their creative their creativeness to attract their 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 audience you know what i mean and that's probably where the real legalized issue is gonna lie when it comes to um companies um actually striking people's dream universe on creations because most likely it's going to be because they don't want people to get confused that dreams is associated with them or they're associated with dreams somehow and they don't want they don't want their audience to get the wrong idea so that's that's one reason why i can see a lot of companies actually um flagging stuff in dreams universe but to give you an idea of what you should do creatively is be creative. Um, you could probably make something similar to what you originally try to create as far as, let's say, Sonic. You could probably make something similar to what Sonic is like, but you can't make it exactly what Sonic is like because all the time you took out to make that Sonic game, that Sonic character, Sega could come along and be like, nope, I don't want it there. Delete it, please. Dreams Universe, they got no choice to, but to delete it because that is the case. If they don't go through the process of deleting it, they can get sued. So they have the right to delete your work, whether you agree with it or not, because at the end of the day, you're not going to get sued. Dreams Universe, well, Molecule, um, the company, will get sued for the stuff that you're trying to create, which replicas something else. And the company is not going to sue you because you you most likely have nothing to offer. And plus, it would probably be too confusing to get to you. And also, it falls under Dreams' responsibility and Molecule's responsibility to let the 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 developers, well, the, the creators, which is us, the people, know that we shouldn't be doing this and that if we do do it, there is, a, there may be a punishment, not a punishment, but there may be um, some disappointment in the long run if something was to get copyrighted. And that's why I tell people, be creative from your own creative perspective. You may make something not very very similar but you can make something kind of similar to what you originally like just don't make it exactly alike because you're one you're probably going to disappoint yourself because if it gets flagged all your work is going to disappear instantly the minute dreams get the okay to say uh, all right we got to take this down they're going to take it down and your work is going to be done. It clearly says that right here. It says you'll lose all the time, effort and effort you put into making your content because they will delete it. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> the other thing, dreams is basically, you know what I mean? 
they're going to be stuck in a in a in a in a tight position if they don't do everything on time. So once these copyrights start getting um reported from these other companies that's noticing these type of things, guess what's going to happen? Majority of that stuff is going to start disappearing. And I know it sounds messed up that you know they you're, you're probably most likely being just creative and you're not really trying to make a game out of it and you may lose it, but they have the right to do that. And I'm pretty sure if you took all the effort out to create something creatively, right, and had everything legitimately legalized, copywritten, copyrighted, you wouldn't want to see your creation be basically promote it in something else that has nothing to do with your creation has nothing to do with create the creating process and i know it's all based off fan base but at the end of the day we got to understand that this work is being incorporated into a, a a engine game that's created to make games so I, I doubt, I highly doubt, I'm going to leave with this. I'm going to end it with this. I highly doubt that um, companies are going to be flagging people that, that create their characters. Like as far as just create. Like I made, I made, um, I made um, Scorpion or I made Sub-Zero. I doubt they're going to flag stuff like that. Or I made Predator. I doubt they're going to flag stuff like that. But if you actually try to make like a little mini game series of that particular character. Like let's say I'm not trying to make a Mortal Kombat game. But I'm trying to make a Scorpion um, story enhanced game. You know what I mean? Like a little uh, story behind Scorpion but out of a game. Mortal Kombat could come and be like, Hope, oh, they trying to make a Scorpion game out of our character inside of this game? Nope. Cancel. You know what I mean? Let's say I try to make a, a Knuckles game from Sonic. Let's say I'm not trying to make a Sonic game, but I'm trying to make a Knuckles game. A little mini Knuckles game. You know what Sega could do? Nope. Knuckles is mine. They're trying to make a mini game of Knuckles in this game? Nope. Flag it. That's what they can do. And that's why they're telling you. Dreams creators are telling you. Be creative on your own. Try to come up with stuff on your own. Try to come up with your own concept. Of how you want to design a game. And how you want to make your characters. At the end of the day. Because you're going to go through all the effort. Of creating a, a, a game around the character. That you don't own the copyrights to. So once the company notices what you did in dreams they can alert dreams and be like listen i don't want that content in there i don't want that game in there i don't care who created it i don't care why they created it i don't care how much of a fan they are to make them want to create it i don't like the idea that my creation is being promoted in a game that's not tied to my creation um um completely so they're, they're not making no revenue. You got to think about it like a business. And that's why I say, think about it from their perspective. Let's say you made a character and you built this whole, this whole reputation around this character. And some random person comes and puts your character in another game engine to create a game within that game of your character. You're not going to like the idea. You're going to be like, hold up. Even though I may not be getting cheated out of money by somebody doing this, but somebody Somebody's taking my creation and making something out of it and basically and they're tying it to a whole nother um a whole nother corporation that I have no ties to. So now that corporation is gaining audience and gaining revenue off of a character that I own the rights to. That is where the that is where the legalization comes in and that is where the um the ego kicks in. It's not even the ego, it's the business perspective of it all. You got to understand it from a business perspective. I'm not collecting no revenue from 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 something from a character I created on somebody else's game engine or or game overall. And, and they're getting audience because of my character. They're gaining... It may not seem like that. Because I know everybody doesn't go to dreams for other people's characters. But 
that's how the company is going to look at it. That is how they're going to see it. Y'all are gaining audience and revenue off of creations that we created. You know what I mean? That we got copyrights to. So therefore, we don't want it there. We don't care if it's a face. I don't want it there. Because now you're gaining traction off of something that I have the rights to. And I'm not getting nothing in return because of it. So that's the issue. I'm going to leave it with that. Be creative. Create your own stuff. Share with other people. Um, as far as ink. Uh, as far as being actually creative um, When it comes to creating your stuff Be careful what you share And what you don't share Because um, eventually You might want to get your stuff copyrighted Yourself So be, ca be careful what you want to share As far as what people can edit And what they can't edit Because if you're making a full blown out game And you got like specific characters You're probably not going to want those characters To be edited If you're trying to Make it a, a a legitimate thing in the long run. I mean, if you're doing it for kicks and you're doing it for fun, it is what it is. But there's a lot of money behind copywriting characters. And uh, there, there's a lot that goes into um, the perspective of doing all that. And maybe I'll make a video further on in the future about how to go about doing that. And um, how, how, how to... How to tell what you should edit, um, what you should put as edit, and what you shouldn't put as edit when it comes to creating your games and creating your your mini series or or whatever it is you're trying to create in dreams. But my best advice to you is be creative, create from your heart, create from your mind, create from yourself. You may take inspiration, but do not take too much inspiration so you may make something seem like it's alike but not too much don't make it too much alike and definitely don't create it exactly the same because like i said at the end of the day it might disappear because if they get the report that i don't want it there molecule has to take it down or they're gonna have to suffer a lawsuit and from a business perspective, I'm not getting sued, so I'm going to take it off. So you can't be mad at that. But um, know your copyright laws and just understand but that you got you to gotta be creative. If, if, if this is what you wanted to do, whether it's um, whatever aspect of the game, of creating a game. But when it comes to like character production and like um, logos and all that be creative on your own make make stuff from from your mind from your perspective like i said you can take inspiration but don't take too much inspiration i'm gonna leave you with that and peace i see you in the next one create your own stuff i'll be happy to show it off and <sighs> just listen to me please be creative